Welcome back everyone, I am the Depressed Dior, and this is Ador, Master of the Broken World. What? Okay, I'm lying. This is not Ador. So, what happened was, um, I got my, I finally got my votes. Um, originally there was like a four-way tie, and I waited until the tie was broken. And, so I was recording, and I was, you know, explaining myself in my usual randomly way. And, uh, the moment I, cl I would click on the shard, click on start the battle or whatever, and it would go to the loading screen and crash every time I did it. No matter what, it even ha it even when I pick a different shard or I attack a master, it crashes on the loading screen. I don't know what's causing it, and after at this point, after dealing with so many technical issues, the um, I'm kind of um, having my fill of it. <laughs> so, what was I trying to say? Oh, that's right. Um. So after all the bugs and stuff, this one I don't really know how to get around, and quite frankly, I'm kind of tired of the bugs from the game. So I'm going to use this opportunity to kind of talk about the game a little bit, and then I'll probably go ahead and call it quits for now. I may come back to Ador, Master of the Broken World, but um, it's probably not going to be anytime soon, simply because of the issues with the bugs and crashing and the difficulty in recording, and also the fact that I'm doing a master, I, uh, I'm working for my masters right now is a bit more difficult than an undergrad. So, um, just a quick final thoughts on Ador. I can't really tell you much about the ending because I've never beaten the game before and I don't intend to until I can actually record it again. But um, overall, I don't know, it seems alright. I kind of wish the um, the whole shard takeover thing was something you can do like as a custom game as well. Because right now the custom games you only do one shard. Which, I mean, quite frankly, one shard is definitely enough for for a game as uh, kind of, I guess, vast as Ador. Um, es essentially, um, there's just so much you can explore in the game, which is pretty interesting. But um, at the same time, I tend to get a lot of the same events over and over again, so I don't know. I mean, you guys see me have done, done multiple shards, and a lot of times I end up getting the same stuff over and over again. It could be something to do with the story mode, and it's trying to be like more of a gradual progression, but it's kind of how it is. Um, I didn't really get to mess around too much with the diplomacy in this game, simply because a lot of, you didn't really do very many big shards, and uh, I usually just try to steamroll the guys as quickly as possible for the sake of just trying to get through the recording as quickly as possible. But um, I guess gameplay-wise, um, it's way I find it's a way too random, which I mean I, I tend to have issues with in a lot of strategy games when they have a, a lot of random elements. Like for example, on one shard, you guys saw it when. I explored it, I immediately got attacked by bandits, and I could not get away from them. That's turn one, getting killed immediately. I mean, granted, you lose at most maybe one turn, but it's still resources you have to spend, time and resources you have to spend, simply because a random event decided to screw you all over in the beginning. Uh, one person that commented on my videos mentioned that he got a troll in his, in his main city, and he had, it actually ended up taking over his city while he was away. Or maybe it was just real early in the game and he couldn't do anything about it. But he essentially just lost the game because of a random event. Um, that's a kind of a big issue in the game. Uh, the game definitely can use a lot more transparency in uh, what can be around. Stop looking at you. But, um... Yeah, the transparency... Like... A lot of times you... I, it'll tell you, hey, this is a... Like, when I go through the list of areas that I can explore in, in, a, um, in a province... There, it'll just say something very, very vague, like Inquisitors, or Clerics, or, you know, what was it? I think there's one that was like Spectres, or something like that. And in some cases, it's not too bad, because it's pretty, if, like, for Spectres, you know it's just Ghost. But you also don't know things, details like, you know, the general layout of the team. If you get something like Undead, you don't know how if it's Skeletons and Zombies. Or if it's skeletons, zombies, and ghouls. You don't know if it's skeletons, zombies, ghouls, and ghosts, and vampires. You don't get that information. It doesn't tell you. It'll never tell you. And um, I think there's like a scout ability, but it, quite frankly, it's something that really should be just given to you. You should be able to see that. If you have it revealed on your map, you should be able to just, you know, use it. You should be able to know what's there. Especially if it's a place that's already been explored. I should know what's already there without me wasting a turn of exploring it, being like, oh, that's what's there. 
And quite frankly, that's just a waste of turns at the most, and for the most part. And I don't know how thorough, I don't know how efficient the AI is. I don't know if they know exactly where to go or not. I mean, you've noticed that the AI generally doesn't do too well. It could be the fact that I safe scum a lot. Um, I don't really know though. That's the problem. I don't want to go through an entire. I don't want to go through the game without um, without safe scumming and get to the point where I get to the end and I cannot keep up with the AI simply because I've wasted so many times checking areas and then wasting turns not doing anything. But, um, yeah. Oh, sorry, I'm popping the mic like crazy. But, um, as for the AI, uh, for the most part, the AI just seems to just charge. Um, they will target weaker, uh, weaker characters first with, like, archers and stuff, but that's about the extent. Um, as far as the various characters and classes, uh, I don't really have too much issue. Uh, pretty much, essentially all of it's passives, with a few exceptions. You might get an, uh, an activatable ability occasionally, but for the most part, it's all passives. Um, the units are pretty varied uh, with their stats, which makes them kind of unique. You might not think so, um, but originally this game was not, didn't allow you to save scum. Uh, originally it was just, you know, use whatever units. So units like, you know, peasants and spearmen can actually have a use simply because they're cheaper. Um, the only reason I never use them is simply because I save scum. I, I usually, you know, use uh, very expensive units that can just level up. Um, essentially, it's a risk versus reward thing. That's kind of what the game is designed around. So yeah, you can have swordsmen and pikemen, which are really strong. But if you lose them, they're very expensive to replace, especially if you don't have iron. And then, of course, um, on my last shard, I used nothing but thieves, which are not very strong and kind of limited in their uh, abilities to fight in melee. But um, they cost they cost me practically nothing to uh, upkeep, so they are very very useful in that respect. Um, besides that, um, the story was kind of alright, I guess. Um, like I said, the biggest issue is the fact that there's a lot of randomness involved, and a um, and there's a lack of transparency with like seeing what information is available to you when you're on the map. Um, more along the lines of the randomness, I really don't like the fact there's events where they're like, hey, you need to pay 500 gold to make these people happy, and your options are either pay the 500 gold to make them happy, or tell them to screw off <laughs> and make them very unhappy. I would like to have a little bit more options if you don't have enough money. Or at the very least, be like, okay, or maybe give an option like, if you don't have enough money, be like, this is all the money I have. And be like, okay, at least you tried. I mean, granted, some of the people will probably still be angry, but, you know, at least they'll show kind of like, I guess, in a role-playing aspect that you're not just the person that's just trying to get, you know, screw over everybody. Um, there are still quite a bit of things I didn't get to really touch up on. I only briefly did things like um, racial alliances, which are pretty interesting. I did become allies with orcs and goblins, and they did really kind of neat stuff, like raiding provinces for me or giving me free provinces. Um... And that's about it. There wasn't really much else. I, I, the only thing I didn't really do much of is pillaging, because I really didn't like the concept of pillaging. Though, when I tried it for the first time, it was actually pretty pretty good. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the AI does it, too, quite a bit. Um, I think that's about it. I apologize for just having this, this game in the background, because, quite frankly, it's not exactly appropriate. But uh, th this game in the background is Unholy Heights, if you didn't know. But... Um, I just wanted something to play in the background while I um, explain my issues. So yeah, um, I apologize, but I'm pretty sure I can't get, continue with Ador, um, Masters of the Broken World, at least not for a little while. It's actually been a while since I last played, like I always say, because um, I usually record everything ahead of time and then upload them once I have an entire shard done. But I don't know what they've been doing, but or if it's just my computer dying or something. But I can't, I can't record it anymore. <laughs> It's either I can't record it or it just flat out crashes on me. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and leave this game alone. I apologize. This is going to be another one of those probably unfinished Let's Plays until I um, hear more about it. Um, on a higher note, I have been doing... Uh, other, I do have a bunch of other recorded Let's Plays that I've been uploading. I've been doing um, Civilization V. And there's going to be a little... There's going to be a, a different... Um, different games in between each civilization session, so there will be some variation. Um, and besides that, I'm doing a Let's Play Together of Toho Soccer 2 for the weekend, if you guys are interested. I'm um, pretty sure you guys aren't, but it's there if you want to vote or just want to screw me over. 
so, I think that's it. I apologize once again for uh, failing, <laughs> but I blame the game more than me. So, until next time, I'm the Depressed Eeyore. This could have been Eeyore Masters of the Broken World, but it's actually Unholy Heights. See you guys later.